Hello! In this video tutorial, we are going to learn how we can take a YouTube video and make it accessible to students um, without unblocking YouTube. So um, I just want to show you what tool we're going to use to do that. Um, it's a tool called Edpuzzle and it's a wonderful tool that um, has a lot of great features but for today's purposes in this video tutorial um, I am simply going to show you how to use it as a workaround um, for YouTube. Basically we're going to put a YouTube video into Edpuzzle get a link from Edpuzzle and that's what we will send to students. Um, that embeds it through Edpuzzle so that they can still view it without actually going to the YouTube site. It's very much like what we used to do with My Big Campus Library. Um, we're just doing it through another tool this time. Okay, so this is the video that I want to send to my students. I'm actually on YouTube, um, so students can't get to this link right now. So I'm gonna come up here and copy the video's URL. Then we're going to go to Edpuzzle. Now, of course, you'll need to sign up for an account. Um, Edpuzzle is free, so that shouldn't be too much of a difficulty for you. Um, and once you've signed up for an account and logged into your account, um, you're going to get a page a lot like this that's going to come up. And you're going to go right up here in the top menu bar. We want to go to My Content. And there you'll be able to see any videos that you have done previously. I'm going to come over here to the Create button, and I'm going to create a new video. Okay, so you see we have all these different options of places we can pull videos from. You can also upload a video of your own recording to Edpuzzle. Um, but I'm going to go here to YouTube. And right here where it says Search for a Video or Paste the URL, I'm going to paste the URL that I copied earlier and click search. Okay, so what that's going to do is it's going to find my video and it's going to put it into its editor. Now we're not going to do any of these things. Um, we'll have other tutorials and trainings available soon um, for how to do those things. If you want to take advantage of those features of Edpuzzle, um, it does let you crop the video. You can add um, any sort of audio track that you have on your computer or record one. Um, you can also add questions in at any point in the video. So some really nice features there that you might want to take advantage of. But for now, I'm just trying to get you a link that you can use for students. So we're just going to, right after we've put that video in, we're just going to save. And we're going to finish. I'm going to come over here. It comes up to assign, um, which was what you would use if you actually went through all the steps of, you know, setting up classes in Edpuzzle and getting your students in and all of those things. But for now, we're just going to go to the share button, and there's where we find the link that we want. We're going to highlight that, copy that to our clipboard. Okay, so this link is a link that students will be able to use and will be able to actually watch that YouTube video, whereas this link they would get blocked. Okay, so now I want to show you what you can do with that link. Um, a couple things. I'm going to go here to Nearpod. Maybe you're using Nearpod now and you want to put a YouTube video into your Nearpod that students can click on and watch. Say that you're using your Nearpod in homework mode where students are working independently um, or in a center or something. So you're going to go here to Add Slide now in the content area there is a button for video but we actually don't want to use that um, we're not uploading our own video and we're not connecting to YouTube so we don't want that one we're just going to add it as a website so you need to go to add web content and then paste that Edpuzzle URL into your Nearpod and in just a minute it'll show a um, an image in the background of that actual video and that website page and then of course you can drag it around to wherever you want it to be in your Nearpod. Um, another thing that you can do um, is put it into really any place but I'll show it to you as Google Classroom. I could come here to my Google Classroom and I could um, make an assignment and put in here and then I'm going to tell them to please watch this video and submit when you are done. 
something like that. Okay, I can give it a, um, a due date and all that kind of thing. Okay, so right here there's a button for YouTube. Don't use that because that's going to get blocked by the students. You want to add a link instead. And that's where we're going to paste that Edpuzzle URL again. We'll click Add. Give it a chance to save here. And then we're going to click Assign. Okay, so now I'll just follow this link so that you can see what students will see. Um, if they follow this link, they get the video and they're able to click play and watch it. And if you go back later um, and decide to add any of those features that Edpuzzle offers, like questions or um, your voice explaining something at any point in the video, um, those changes, that, that link doesn't change. So those changes will be instantly available through that assignment or any place that you've posted that link um, without you having to go back and change anything. So you can go in and, and add those features later on um, and your link will still be good. So I hope that helps you um, deal with the YouTube issue um, and take advantage of the good that YouTube has to offer without the bad. As always, please let me know if you have any questions.